The Buu Saga is one of the most divisive arcs to talk about in the entire Dragon Ball community, in terms of both narrative analysis and power scaling. However, it seems that everyone enjoys Vegito's character, and this is for some kind of obvious reasons. When you saw Goku and Vegeta fuse, you knew something was about to go down, with Vegito delivering by giving Buuhan one of the worst beatings we've seen in Dragon Ball. With this, Vegeta was essentially the solution to the impossible, the only way to beat Buuhan, who was basically a chief character with insanely high power, speed, great variety in abilities, and a high intellect. However, Vegito's power, especially in comparison to other characters, might not be as widely agreed. So, in this video, I'll explain why I hold the position of Vegito being the strongest character in the Z anime and manga, and give some comparisons for him against movie and GT characters. But let's start off with what we see from Vegito in the manga. Right off the bat, even when describing the potential of the fusion, Goku says he'd be unbeatable if he fused with Vegeta, and that it was the only way to beat Buu with Buu at this point having absorbed Gohan, Goten, Trunks, and Piccolo, with him even stating that he thinks he could defeat a fused version of Goku and Vegeta, likely basing this hypothetical off of the fusion dance. The title of the next chapter then calls Vegito either the ultimate fighter or unbeatable, and Vegito immediately goes Super Saiyan. Vegito beats up Buhan, slapping away his attack before easily overpowering Buhan with his own strikes. He tosses Buhan around, with Old Kai noting that their rivalry helped the fusion's power, as Supreme Kai calls Buhan helpless. Vegito starts using the spirit sword to toy with Buhan, and is surprised by how hard he's beating up Buhan, even beating him up while he can't see. Vegito repeats that he's surprised at his power, and destroys all of Buhan's kamikaze ghosts. He even blocks Buhan's attacks with just his legs, before kicking him back. Even as a candy ball, Vegito slaps up Buhan, before being reverted back to normal and Buhan attempting to absorb him. After this, we all know what happens with Vegito defusing, reaching the end of his feats, but it is later mentioned that he could have one-shot pure Buu. In the anime, it's mostly the same thing, so I can't add too much, but there are a few things worth noting. For example, before they fuse, Goku mentions that the Pataro fusion will multiply Goku and Vegeta's powers, which would be an incredibly high multiplier. However, despite knowing this, he's not too sure if he can beat Buhan, likely due to not being aware of the rival boost, and later has more comments about being surprised at how powerful they are as Vegito. With this being said, you can pretty easily make an argument that the fusion is significantly above multiplication, rather than just being the A times B it's usually treated as. It's also stated that when base Vegito shows up, him against Buhan is going to be the mightiest versus the mightiest, easily scaling them above the likes of Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Ultimate Gohan, Fat Buu, etc. Base Vegito also gets to have a fight with Buhan here, where he initially beats him up, and later kicks a huge attack from Buhan into orbit. Later, it's stated by the narrator that they were evenly matched. You could either say this is in reference to Buhan having the stamina and ability advantage, while Vegito had the power advantage, or you could say that they were equal in power and Buhan just grew from the initial part of the fight. Now becoming a Super Saiyan, he clowns Buhan again, similar to in the manga, but even overwhelms the technique outside space. This technique is used by Buhan to basically rip through the dimensional walls to threaten destroying the universe, yet Vegito still manages to overpower this attack, though he does admit that this was some pretty impressive power that Buhan showcased. He also teleports away from attacks from Buhan's ghost kamikazes due to his use of instant transmission. Now, I'm going to cover the various guide statements made about Vegito. Usually, I would not go so in-depth about guides, but in Dragon Ball debating, guides are pretty much the main or secondary evidence in pretty much all debates. So let's go over a few things. In Daizenshu 7, it's stated that there is no doubt that base Vegito's power is above Super Saiyan 3 Goku's, and that base Vegito had a fierce fight with Buhan. The Dragon Box also says that he overpowered Buhan in just his base, and this is repeated in the Kai Dragon Box. The Daizenshu also says that the Patara has a greater effect and greater power than the Fusion Dance. And the super exciting guide affirms the statement in the anime that the multiplier for fusion is A times B. Now, let's go over the onslaught of statements for Vegito being the strongest character. In Daizenshu 2, it is stated that he is the strongest of warriors, and that he is far and away the strongest in the universe, as well as him being the strongest amalgamated warrior, and that he became the strongest warrior. In Daizenshu 7, it is stated that he's the best in the universe from key control to key strength, and that only Vegito can use the key saber, an attack based off of your key, 
This is very notable, as these statements come from the ability section, which has no real chronological order and is talking about the series from an overall perspective, if not also including the movies. El Manga Legendario also says that no one is as strong as him, even that hypothetical characters like a Goku and Gohan fusion wouldn't compare, and that he is the strongest hero in the universe. The Super Exciting Guide says that once he goes Super Saiyan, he's the strongest in the universe, and the official Dragon Ball Twitter account calls him the strongest warrior. The 50th Anniversary V-Jump also says that he is the strongest in the original work. There are plenty of anime guides that say this as well. In Daizenshu 5, he's called the Ultimate Soldier. Kyogen Battle Collection calls him the strongest warrior in all of Z. The Dragon Box says that he was undoubtedly the strongest in the universe, that he had the mightiest strength in the universe, the ultimate power, and that even as base Vegito, he was the strongest in the universe. Dragon Box Kai says that he was the strongest warrior at his birth, the strongest warrior in base, and that his power truly was the strongest. Son Goku Densetsu blatantly says he was the strongest in Z. The movie 12 Animanga says that he is unbeatable and the strongest warrior in history. The Fact Files call him the strongest warrior in the universe, and also proves that the rival boost is real. The Toei website calls him the strongest warrior. The GT Perfect Files says that he was the greatest master in the universe. And the Heroes Legacy anime comic says that he was the strongest warrior, with this being a guide that contains GT information. So I'll leave it up to you guys to determine if this means that Vegito scales to the GT cast. Lastly, a V-Jump also calls Super Vegito the strongest. Now we come to the conclusion. Overall, I think it's pretty clear that Vegito is the strongest in the original Z series for both the manga and anime. There are just various statements calling him the strongest in the universe, the strongest warrior, the ultimate power, etc. And while maybe some you could say are only in reference to at the time he fought Buhan, many of them are also just talking about an overall sense. Hell, you could even argue off of some of them, specifically the Daisenshu 7 scans, the GT Perfect Files saying that he has power perhaps even greater than Super Saiyan 4, which is quite the infamous statement, or the GT Heroes Legacy anime comic, or even the last V-Jump I showed and the Movie 12 anime comic. So take all that as you will, and consider the fact that I didn't get to go over these stuff for characters like Gogeta or the GT characters, and their arguments for being about Vegito. So of course, this is only really half the argument. I guess in the same way, it's only really half the argument for if Kiribu or Goku could have surpassed Vegeta, but I'll be honest right now, those arguments aren't really worth covering. With that being said, thanks for tuning into this video, and thank you guys so much for 150 subscribers and all the support recently. You guys are the best. Next, I'll be coming up with a Spider-Man narrative video, and then a Full Metal Alchemist power scaling video. See y'all next time. Peace.